Hi, it's Grandpa from Grammy and Grandpa Read, and today's book is the yuckiest, stinkiest, best Valentine ever. <laughs> by Brenda Ferber, and pictures are by Ted Arnold. I love his pictures. It's a dial books for young readers, an imprint of the Penguin Group. All right, here we go. Leon had a crush, a secret crush, a dreamy crush, a let her cut in line at the water fountain crush. And today, Leon planned to proclaim his love. It would be the best Valentine's Day ever. Leon cut a big red heart out of construction paper. He added arms, legs, and a face. What a sweet Valentine. He turned it over and wrote, Dear Zoe Maloney, I love you. Love, Leon. But when Leon tried to put it into an envelope, the valentine jumped out of his hands. Police, you can't tell Zoe Maloney you love her. <laughs> his valentine talks. I can't? Why not? It's disgusting. That's why not. It's mushy and gross and just plain yucky. But I thought Valentine's Day was all about love. Ha! Valentine's is all about candy. I'm talking candy hearts, chocolates, caramels, the works. <laughs> and with that, the Valentine leaped out the window and ran away. <laughs> Wait, come back. But the Valentine ran faster calling, love is yucky, stinky too. It will turn your brain to goo. Down the road ran the Valentine. After him ran Leon. They came to a playground where some boys were playing basketball. Help! Leon wants to give me to his secret crush. Ew, gross, cooties, said the biggest boy and the middle-sized boy and the littlest boy. You don't understand. Zoe Maloney is my one true love. Pipe down, you give me to Zoe Maloney and we'll be in the laughing stock of the whole school. And he ran calling, love is yucky, stinky too. It will turn your brain to goo. <laughs> Through the park ran the Valentine. After him ran Leon and the boys who were cheering wildly for the Valentine's escape. They came to a field where some girls were playing tag. Help, Leon thinks he's in love with Zoe Maloney. How cute, said the biggest girl. How adorable, said the middle-sized girl. How romantic, said the littlest girl. But does Zoe Maloney love you back? Leon froze, he had no idea. She had picked him to be on her kickball team once. Was that love? Zoe Maloney does love me, I think. The Valentine shook his head. Love is nothing but trouble, kid. Sticky, stick with candy. It's a sure thing. <laughs> and on he ran, calling, Love is yucky, stinky too. It will turn your brain to goo. Into town the, ran the Valentine. After him ran Leon, the boys, and the girls, who were hoping to see True love triumph. They came to a fountain where some teenagers were hanging out. Help, Leon wants to give me to Zoe Maloney and he's not even sure he, she loves him back. That's bold, said the biggest teen. That's risky, said the middle teen. That's nothing, said the littlest teen. I can find out if Zoe Maloney likes him. My brother is best friends with Sam Samuelson whose cousin is Riley Richards, who lives next door to Lindsay Lewis, who plays on the same soccer team as Zoe Maloney. I had no idea love was so complicated. Ha ha ha, love is fleeting, kid. You'll forget about Zoe Maloney before summer vacation. And on he ran, calling, love is yucky, stinky too. It will turn your brain to goo. Around the corner ran the Valentine. After him ran Leon, the boys, the girls, and the teens who were curious to see how this whole mess would turn out. The 
Valentine dashed inside Sugarman's candy shop, where he slammed into a girl with hair sleek as sunshine, eyes bright as the ocean, and freckles like perfect specks of sand. Zoe Maloney? Zoe Maloney looked at Leon. Then she looked at the Valentine. Leon held his Leon held his breath. A smile spread across Zoe Maloney's face. Leon's heart heart soared. Just then the Valentine noticed Zoe Maloney's Valentine. Sweet. <laughs> Zoe Maloney's Valentine giggled. The boy said, Whoa. The girl said, Oh. And the teenager said, way to go. <laughs> hey, you're in love too? At last, the Valentine was speechless. But as everyone feasted on the fancy chocolates, caramels, and candy hearts of all colors and sizes, the Valentine could be heard whispering on, into the taffy ears of his beloved, Love is yummy. Love is divine. Won't you be my valentine? <laughs> they all agreed it was the best Valentine's Day ever. The end. <laughs> says, hey, stop that valentine. <laughs> and that is the story of the yuckiest, stinkiest, best valentine ever. <laughs> if you like the story, smash the like button below. Remember to subscribe to the channel. And watch our Valentine's playlist and tell all your friends. Thanks.